Now we consider an increase in foreign demand and the effects that this has in an open economy. We again start in the goods market equilibrium of an open economy and again for an easier illustration we assume that trade is initially balanced so we don't have a trade surplus nor a trade deficit. Then the foreign demand level Y star increases. So perhaps there is a foreign expansionary fiscal policy going on and we want to see what the effects are on the home economy. To this end, we again draw the goods market equilibrium for an open economy as we had it before in the previous uh, video, where we have demand uh, on the vertical axis, production income on the horizontal axis, we have the 45 degree line and we have the ZZ uh, curve and where the ZZ curve intersects the 45 degree line, we have that demand is equal to income, demand for domestically produced goods. And we assume, as I said before, that there is no trade surplus, no trade deficit, so trade is balanced in this equilibrium so that net exports are zero. What we also need in this case is the domestic demand curve and that is uh, steeper than the demand curve for domestic goods. The reason for this difference is again imports as we had it uh, before. Now there is this expansionary fiscal policy abroad and this expansionary fiscal policy abroad shifts the ZZ curve because uh, Y star increases and that shifts exports upward. So there will be more demand for exports and this will shift the ZZ curve upwards to ZZ prime. The DD curve is not affected by this shift. Now since there is a shift in exports but no shift in imports because the exchange rate didn't change and domestic income didn't change, we have that net exports shift upwards from NX to NX prime and this shift being due to the change in exports. If we draw this new NX prime curve, then it will intersect with the horizontal um, axis here, where we have zero, at the point where the DD curve and the ZZ prime curve intersect in the diagram above. The reason is that at that point domestic demand and total demand for domestic goods are the same and that can only be the case if exports and imports are the same so that exports are zero and that's exactly that point. Now we see that there is a new equilibrium in the goods market at a higher income level because the home country exports additional uh, goods, incomes uh, rise and so on and this is now associated with a positive trade balance, so with a trade surplus. And the reason is that foreign demand increased, domestic demand initially didn't change, so the additional demand boost comes from the foreign economy. The home economy must produce more to fulfill this additional demand that raises incomes at home and so on and so forth. So there is an additional multiplier effect going on in the home economy. But overall, um, this additional production is uh, particularly for the foreign economies and that means that the trade balance will become positive and the home country will export more than it imports so that the additional, uh, initial trade uh, balance turns into a trade surplus. So to summarize, an increase in foreign demand leads to a higher demand for domestically produced goods. The demand curve in the home economy does not shift but there is a multiply effect to so move along the curve to a new equilibrium with higher production and higher income at home and a trade surplus.